I'm an American. Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and I love space. So much so that this video doesn't even scare me. I think it's just super cool. Okay, it does actually scare me like a tiny weeny bit, but it's still awesome. Space is scary, but I think that makes it even cooler. Get a load of the top 10 sounds from out of space that should have stayed secret. Before we get into this video guys, I want to invite you to give it a good thumbs up and let me know which planet you would visit first if you could go planet traveling. I think I'd go to Uranus cause lol. Also if you guys want to connect with me on social media there is a link to my Instagram in the description box as well as the amazing creative team behind this video. So many people here. Alright, space, the final frontier, what are you saying to us? The vacuum of space is deathly quiet or at least it should be, however regularly strange sounds have been recorded in outer space that are so unsettling we wish we'd never heard them. Coming in at number 10 we have Saturn's screaming poles. These sound well and truly spine chilling. These sounds rival anything a space horror composer could score and these are natural sounds from Saturn's poles. These were recorded by NASA's Cassini spacecraft in 2002 and they're radio waves that come from Saturn's aurora, so very similar to the light phenomenon at our aurora borealis on earth. So imagine the swirling green, pinks and yellow lights accompanying these sounds which have been sped up with a slight frequency adjust so our human ears can hear them. This sound comes from one of my favourite YouTube channels Space Audio, they were uploaded in March 2015. Now Cassini completed its space mission in 2017, losing contact as it made a suicide dive into the planet's atmosphere on September 15th. Number 9, we have Earth's hiss. Wait, the Earth hissed as a spacecraft flew by? Yeah, it, it did. The recording sounds like a huge breathing dragon. Have a listen. Is that anything other than the rise and fall of breath? It kind of sounds like Darth Vader. Apparently, this is sound recorded in 1996 from NASA's polar mission. It's a sound of hot ionized particles generated by sunlight crashing into the atmosphere. It creates a sound like the Earth hissing at us, and to be honest, what with climate change and the rising greenhouse gases, I can understand why the Earth may be pissed enough to hiss. This isn't the first hiss heard from planet Earth by the patient ears of NASA. In 2015, a NASA student balloon experiment using infrared microphones picked up the unsettling sounds from 22 miles above the Earth's surface in New Mexico and Arizona. Coming in at number 8, we have music from the dark side of the moon. It was nothing compared to Pink Floyd, it was kind of A medium pitched wooing isn't everyone's kind of music, but do you know what? Each to their own. The astronauts on the Apollo 10 mission and passed around the moon and when they were the farthest side away from earth, the dark side, they lost all radio contact with ground control and the rest of us earthlings. As Apollo careered around the moon, they heard some very weird sounds, like really really weird sounds. So weird that the astronauts talked about it constantly. The weird sounds were not reported at the time, but they were recorded and received by NASA when the mission returned to Earth. The recordings were then classified, which means that they were being safeguarded from human ears. Why? We're not sure. In 2008, the newly declassified recordings were found and we can hear the weird woo noises for ourselves. Have a listen. That hit music even sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Woo! The astronauts are talking about it constantly and NASA hasn't really returned to the moon since the 70s and I'm wondering, you know what, is it because of these weird noises? 
conspiracy. Coming in at number 7 we have the mysterious radio signals from deep space. For the last decade scientists have been picking up unexplained radio signals they call fast radio bursts from deep space. In fact on the day I scripted this video August 7, 2018 more signals were reported. Now these signals have ranged in frequency but the most recent are 580 megahertz that's 200 lower than previously heard. The latest sounds detected come from very very far away possibly billions of light years away. Now the radio signals you're about to hear aren't the most recent but they are pretty unsettling especially when the thudding kicks in. Just listen. Okay and then there's some more. It sounds like maybe the plucking of a string maybe? Currently scientists don't know where exactly the sounds are coming from but they are trying to pinpoint them. Coming into number 6 we have Jupiter's crying lightning. The official term for Jupiter's dissonant space words is Jovian whistles. These are descending and ascending sounds created by lightning strikes in the atmosphere. As you may know Jupiter is a decidedly stormy planet with its red eye being a giant storm that has raged non-stop for over 350 years. Jupiter, you stormy old babe. But I mean, let's have a listen to these terrifying shrieks. It's kind of like a schwam, schwam sound, and it kind of sounds like something being launched, like shoom, shoom. What is this about? It's the weirdest lightning I've honestly ever heard. I don't think you can actually hear lightning on Earth. Maybe. This sound was recorded by Jupiter's Voyager in the 70s, so they're around 40 years old. Now, the planet is likely still screaming in its stormy areas and has been for hundreds of years. Can you even imagine? Coming into number five, we have Ganymede's ghoulish shrieks. Honestly, I feel like Jupiter's moon Ganymede is trying hard to tell us something here. One of Jupiter's 16 moons, Ganymede, is officially the biggest moon in our solar system with a radius of 2,634 kilometers. This makes her bigger than both Mercury and Pluto and two thirds the size of Mars. Hey there big moon, what are you doing? This big moon has its own magnetosphere which creates some big noises and they're pretty unsettling. Their sounds were recorded in 1996 by the Galileo spacecraft. The initial approach into the magnetosphere is punctuated by strong bursts of noises. Then comes some stranger computer beeping like sounds. Have a little listen. <laughs> Right? Then through the beeps comes windy sounding whirs and the whole thing crescendos with beeps interspersed with what sounds like alien cries. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Right? Coming into number 4 we have the screams of a dying star. So it turns out that stars have feelings too and why shouldn't they? They're much bigger than us and we're actually kind of like teeny weeny blips like atoms compared to a star or even smaller. In 2012 scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center released an artist's impression of a black hole swallowing a screaming star. The real life star was spotted falling into a huge black hole 3.9 billion light years away in the constellation of Draco. It seems as the stars get sucked in, they release blips of light every 200 seconds, which NASA thinks are like screams. As the star is so far away, we haven't got an actual sound recording that the star made. Scientists say that the frequency of the light, if converted to the sound, would sound like a very low D sharp. NASA buffs can predict what this sound is like based on the oscillations that have been observed by smaller matter falling into smaller black holes in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Coming into number 3 we have a creepy singing comet. In 2014 scientists recorded a strange whirring, almost alien like sounding noises. The clicking vibrating sounds get even higher in frequency and sound very much like I would imagine an alien trying to communicate with us sounds. The Rosetta Orbiter picked up the sounds from the 67PCG comet in August 2014. Have a little listen. So 
actually don't know what is going on, but neither does head researcher Karl Heinz Gleismeister, whose team was baffled by the noise. The European Space Agency think that the sounds must be coming as a result of a process of oscillation from the comet in orbit. I'm still so confused as to why scientists always give space objects such sterile names like 67 PCG. You really missed a trick here. Anyway, what do you make to these sounds and the singing comet? Coming in at number two, we have the heartbeat of a black hole. So this is a thing apparently, and actually I'm terrified. I thought the black holes were where things went to die, but it turns out that they may have a little soul going on in there. While we can't directly see or hear what black holes are like, we can see and hear what they do to their environment. In 2008, an MIT professor, Edward Morgan, translated X-ray data from the star system GRS 1915-105. He then turned it into sound. Now the binary star system is a black hole and a star that feeds into it, and this is what it sounds like. So kind of like a heartbeat. The beating of a deep, dark, all consuming black heart. How romantic and seriously twisted. Okay, finally, I am pretty sure that listening to this will actually send you mad, like bonkers never be the same again mad. I was listening to this with earphones while researching this video and I had to take them off because it sounded like there was a drill going through my brain. Coming into number one, we have echoes from Titan. Titan is one of Saturn's moons. The sounds you're supposed to hear right now are recorded from Hygens, an atmospheric entry probe sent by the European Space Agency into a suicide landing onto the alien moon. The sounds are absolutely far out. It starts with a beating and then some interstabbing robotic sounds. Listen. And I went off the deep end. Ed Kemper has been serving a life sentence in this California. Then, well, whatever this is, buzzing, brain numbing, buzzing. Age 15. I would have killed until they gunned me down. I wouldn't have been able to reason my way out. What do you think? Can you deal with that? Okay, this is where it gets awful. It reaches into a crescendo where you think your brain will explode. And I did it in my society. Ah, seriously, stop, Titan. Stop this. Titan's kicking off. You may want to couple this sound with images taken from Titan 2. Together, they're quite the intergalactic horror story. So, guys, that was the top 10 sounds from outer space that should have stayed secret. What do you think? Did you enjoy hearing these? What was your favorite? What would you put on your Spotify playlist? Let me know in the comments section down below. So, before I go, I'm just going to read some comments from the top 10 scary warnings from the future. I asked you guys where you would time travel to. Zane said, I'd go to June 18, 2018 to save XXX Tenacion. Good idea. Who else would you go back in time and save? Surely, is the rapper number one? Because we could save all kinds of people here. 92 Breads wrote, I'm from the year 2222200000 and an alien named Zanon stole my lemon and brought it to your time. Cool. Hope you find your lemon. Karu wrote, I'd want to go back to the past so I could spend just a little bit more time with my mum. I miss her. That's really, really sweet, and I think that's such a good idea. If you could time travel, it would be amazing to spend more time with relatives that are no longer with us. And hopefully that reminds a lot of us that actually some of us are lucky enough to be able to have that option to do right now, and we should do it. So guys, that was this video. Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments section down below. And also don't forget to let me know what planet you would travel to if you could go planet traveling. I think I am going to stick with Uranus, although I would like to take a little spin around Saturn's rings. Also, once again, if you guys want to connect with me on social media, there is a link to my Instagram in the description box and links to our creative team. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up, share with a friend, and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists. Bye!